bro, the look how many are on this ship. Exactly, this is ridiculous. Five count of these crabs. Really don't know how to rig this thing either. That looks goofy as everything. Oh, boys. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, Norm and I actually just got done filming a video. Let me show you really quick. If you haven't seen it, you can definitely go check it out after this. And we made the absolute worst rod and reel combo we possibly could make uh, by putting it together here in Bass Pro. And we were already here, so I was like, you know what? Why not just go ahead and film another video while we're here? That way, you know, time is time. We're, time. Time. Time is an illusion. Time is. The, but we live in that illusion. Yeah. Which we must abide by time. By time. And, and carry the seven. Carrying the seven support. All right, so we're here in the saltwater aisle, and my immediate thought, as soon as I saw this, is whatever, what 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 defines what defines a a, a bad saltwater fishing lure? The only thing that I could to immediately cut, to cut you off on it. your perfect explanation of this. Okay. Did you hear that they banned the global life stuff in tournament tournaments? Right? Yeah, that and there's the the, the other um, like the scents, the something. scented lures. Yeah, they banned them in tournaments. Yeah, and How then you, that company then made a ton of money because everybody protested it and went and bought it. Very interesting. Which was, Let me know your comments on that yeah. down in the comments section because I didn't even think about that. I thought it was very interesting. Yeah. So this might even be cheating today, but there's a lot Ooh. of them. So maybe it's, I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you, no, you're, you're fine. You're fine. So yeah, what I was saying about the, what defines a bad saltwater lure uh, or bad lure in general. And Norm and I, uh, in our experience walking tackle shops, one thing that we've found because we've been, Norm and I have been to a lot of tackle shops around the country, trust me. And one thing that we commonly find is like everywhere we go, you'll see, prime example, whatever this color is right here. It's fire. It's fire. <laughs> it's the Tallahassee sauce because there's none of them. And this color, whatever this color is, it's a slap full on the shelf. So nobody's buying this, which means either people don't know to use that color, probably not the case, or people do know about that color and it's bad. So that will be my explanation. So we're gonna find three of the worst saltwater lures that we can possibly find. Norm's gonna go first, he's gonna pick me something out, and we're gonna try to catch largemouth bass on those today in this video. So with that said, Norm, you're up. Sweet. All right. Bro, the look how many are on this ship. Exactly, this is ridiculous. It's like they kept on getting truck orders and nobody was buying them, and they, they canceled the order many times, and they just didn't cancel the order. So they just oh kept my on gosh, dude. This is a, um, a five count of these crabs, a peeler crab, a natural color, so. Natural may be, well, I, I, I ain't like, gonna say it may be good. Look, it's obviously not good. Yeah. Look how many are on the shelf. I mean, this is great. That's the most full shelf here in this Bass Pro, hands down. Yeah, so we, we it would be like a sin if we did not buy these. We'd yeah, be doing definitely, you guys a definitely. disservice if we didn't grab the crabs. Definitely, so the crabs definitely on the list. All right, so we're gonna set these right here for now so we know what we've got. And I'll tell you what, you pick the next one and then I'll pick the you last pick one. The last yep, one. Okay. yep. So, so we're just looking for shelves that are very full. Very full shelves, yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, don't, don't be, you know. There's only one of these, but what is that? I've never seen that before. That's one of those other things that kind of throws me for a loop is there's only one of these on the shelf. So it's like, is that sauce? It's, it it's like a gold shiner color. And I know Florida gold shiner is like, or gold yeah. shat, whatever. Like those things are. It looks terrible for bass fishing, but because there's only one, we're yeah. not going to get it. But yeah. that thing looks crazy. Yeah. Is there another aisle? I don't know, actually. I think the next aisle is for like swordfish and marlin and stuff. So I don't think we can. I mean, we could try to catch a freshwater <laughs> marlin. <laughs> Fun fact for you guys in your bass pro shops go to like the back corner. They moved it out of this one. But this is like the, the clearance section in the back. So Ooh. sometimes, like, when they have overstock on like actual bad lures, they'll put them back here and you can get them for like one tenth the price. They'll be like, Literally, I bought lures out of here for 10 cents in the back of this corner. I dig it. Before, so I dig that. just always check, guys, whenever yeah. you're at your best pro. So these colors are that's that they out. are. Okay, okay. So, so this is a, like, literally you just really made a prime cool. example. Yeah. A perfect example. So this whatever this is, this color, probably not good because the sip, you guys see the shelf is full. But look down here. With this color, there's only two packs these left. Are, and these are the colors. And, are and those are gone. gone. Yeah, these right so. here, those are gone. So you may be onto something. I'm just saying. And, they're swim baits too, which is sweet because they're salt water, but maybe they can catch them yeah, in freshwater. Yeah, maybe so. And we already have crabs, which is going to be pretty impossible. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what bass eat crabs, but we're going to find out. I say we do it. I say we, we do, do it. it. Yeah, I, mean, I think I your think call though. That color doesn't even like look really. I don't even know what to say about that color either. It just kind of looks like poop. Yeah, poop, boof, boof, boof. <laughs> <laughs> the boof floor. So Norm picked these out. The color, all like you said, it looks poop. So we're going to set these down right here, where our other little bait is and now next up look how full this shelf is dude that's every yeah 
And what are these? Fried chicken is the color. <laughs> Dude, that, that reminds me we haven't ate yet today, so I'm hungry. I'm actually, I'm glad you said that, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I think I may have to go with that, because that's, they're slap full. Yeah. Which means, because you look right next to it, those are all sold out. And yeah, these are all the same look, things and they're all gone. Them back where they're supposed to be, they're not, but like, they're slap full, so yep. we may have to go with these. Give me like, give me, let me just do a quick run. Unless you want to try that gulp live stuff, because there's a lot of those, but those are fire for salt water, I think, anyways. Yeah, I don't think like the they, spot is like the worst salt Maybe water. they have a lot of them because they are really good and they keep on bringing them into stock, like those gulp ones, because I know so many people yeah. who use those salt water gulp things. Yeah, and you know, the thing is, I do too, but I don't know a lot of people that use this. That's so. what I'm thinking, so that might be worse. Yeah. Might be food. yeah. All right, this is what we're going to be fishing with in this video today. We have some swim baits right here. We have gulp crabs. It's gonna be the worst one, it's gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> the worms, I'm not super concerned with the worms. Uh, yeah. The color is kind of, the color's janky. I mean, it's just weird. And it's a, a trout trick, it's fried chicken color. I don't even know what else to say about it. So we've got the lures that we need. The goal is to catch fish on each one of these. And uh, the next step is to go to the pond and actually make that happen. So we'll see you guys on the GoPro on the pond here in just one second. We have arrived at our fishing destination with our absolutely terrible saltwater fishing lures maybe these are not terrible i don't know i don't know much of anything about saltwater i just i have no idea so we're gonna swing for the fences today and i think we're probably gonna start with the uh the crab here it's probably gonna stink let's see how it smells like let's give her a rip oh <laughs> i mean absolutely terrible <laughs> The action on it's probably no good. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. You kind of pull these legs off, and I bet they go flailing around in the water and stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll get eaten. I really don't know how to rig this thing either. So, we're going to just kind of rig it the best we can. With We're going to, like, I'm going to kind of Texas rig this thing. I, obviously, I know that's not, well, it's not even going to be able to Texas rig it. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. We're gonna like swim bait rig it. How do you do, how would we do that? Where's the front of the crab? Okay, that's the front. All right, here we go. Uh, that, I'm gonna rig it like that. That looks goofy as everything, guys. It looks extremely goofy, but bear with me, okay? Hear me out. When the tungsten weight is digging in the dirt, right? Pretend I'm the dirt, okay? When the tungsten weight's digging in the dirt, dragging this along, it's going to look like that underwater. I think it'll work. Uh, at least I hope it's going to work. I, I would love to catch a fish on that. I'd love to catch a tank on that. That'd be even, even more cool. But we're going to put this stuff in the fanny pack and then uh, hop on the water. Okay, spot number one. Let's just send it, all right? Let's just send the old rip. Let's just see if, if the crab gets bit, dude. I'm going to lose my mind. This is the one I have the absolute least confidence in, but I do, I feel like if I get it in front of a fish, it might would eat it. But I, I just, I don't know guys. I wanna start with this one to just kind of get it out of the way. I bet you this would actually be a killer bed fishing bait. Oh, there we go, there we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm a crab, oh, don't get stuck in the weeds. Come on now, come on. Let's go. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me, bro? Look at this. Where'd my crab go? Is it down your throat? No. I guess it came off. That's not the size bass you want to see. Uh, <laughs> eating a crab, I guess. First freshwater fish I've ever caught on a crab. That's got that going for us. All right, guys. Day two. Uh, <laughs> we just, the, the send, the send uh, from yesterday was just not. I, I, yeah, we just, the fish were too small, man. I didn't want to mess with something like that man i need i'm looking for some better bites oh there we go there's a good fish that's a <laughs> that's why we switch spots baby that's why we switch spots we're on the electric chicken come here what are you doing where are you going where are you going let's see that ladies and gentlemen with some cheese on it that's what we're looking for 
on the uh, the saltwater lures, baby. Let's freaking go. Yes, sir. All right, you are feisty, so we're gonna get you back, dude. You... <laughs> Acrobatic, yeah. That's freaking awesome, man. Let's go, dude. Second cast here. Let's go. Man, uh, that yesterday, it was kind of a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. It was, uh, it was tough getting a bite. And then the only thing that bit was those two tiny little fish. And, you know, I want something better than that, you know? So, here we are. Day number two. Spot number two. Second cast. First bite is epic. Ooh, guys. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, I wish you guys could have just saw that. That fish chased this thing when I started popping it. That's epic, dude. All right, let's see if he comes back. Oh, there he is. <laughs> just popping it like a fluke, man. Just popping it like a fluke, dude. Are you kidding me? Popping it like a fluke gets the job done. Another victim of the uh, the fried chicken saltwater lure. Maybe these lures aren't so bad after all. I don't know. There we go. Fish number three, baby. That's a good one, boys. That's a good one on the chicken. That's a good one on the fried chicken. That's a good one on the fried chicken. Come here. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the fried chicken, baby. That is what we're looking for. That is what we're looking for, baby. Another one on the fried chicken, man. Dude, maybe this color is like what the freaking truth though I, like i don't know that's another stud fish dude boys that is exactly what we needed today dude, we've got 15 pounds of fish in the first 10 minutes of being here and i fished for like six hours yesterday and caught two little dinks like this big let's go boys get hype get hype in the chat so we got three off the rip, literally in the first five minutes of being here, which is freaking awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up to that swim bait right here. This little, uh, we're gonna give this thing a dangle and see if, uh, see if we can catch anything, hopefully bigger. I mean, big bait, big fish, right? I mean, that's what you like to think, but I don't know. Boys, it's a burner out here today. I might go take a dip in the pool after this one. I have no clue about this body water. Never fished here before, like I said. So we're, we're literally, this is the definition of we're just winging it. boys we got bit we got bit right there exactly where i knew we would get bit i knew it was gonna happen dude i knew it was gonna happen oh dude right there too oh oh i knew it i freaking knew it i freaking knew it i freaking knew it swim bait oh he picked it up off the bottom he picked it up off the bottom don't shake it don't shake it that's a stud that's a stud he picked it up off the bottom are you kidding me are you kidding me what chunk master flex bro let's go dude all right ladies and gents that right there is the definition of a South Florida stud. We're gonna go ahead and get you back. We don't get too, too close to the water because alligators, so we're gonna give you a little toss. And back he goes, dude. What? Seriously? I just, again, sometimes in life, just change spots. Just change spots. Absolutely insane. Perfect timing also, by the way, because we have a giant storm coming through. I literally just got a notification on my phone as I was taking the picture with that fish. So I'll see you guys back at the truck here in like five seconds. All right, ladies and gents, that's gonna wrap this video up. Sorry about the uh, the messy hair and the sweaty everything right now. Your boy just wrapped up uh, a pretty freaking insane chest workout. So uh, there's that. We're, we're at 315 on bench for three reps right now. So I'm trying to get to that 400 pound bench this year. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we're you know we're working for it. We're gonna try. We're gonna give it our everything until we can uh, until we can get there. Anyways, it turns out that largemouth bass are really not fans of crabs because. I literally fished that thing for, I don't know, probably like four hours, five hours, somewhere along those lines. And I only ended up catching that one single little, like, 
I don't even think you could use the word dink. It was like micro dink. But uh, the other the other lures were awesome. That swim bait was crazy. I, I just, I don't know what happened with that one. He just like picked it up off the bottom. But anyways, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. And it helps YouTube push these Fishing with Yak Pack videos to people that, that would, uh, they don't know about the Yak Squad yet. They want in the Yak Squad, but they don't know about the Yak Squad. So they got to find the Yak Squad by you watching this video right now, hitting the like button. Anyways, I love you guys. We'll catch you all in the next venture. Peace.